Summary of the Little Prince by Antoine de Saint-Exupéry The story begins with the narrator, the pilot, experiencing an airplane crash in the Sahara Desert. He tries to fix his engine even though he knows he doesn't have much water. As he starts to work on the engine, a small voice tells him to draw a sheep. The narrator turns around to meet the little prince. He tries several times to draw a sheep, but ends up drawing a box instead. He tells the little prince that the box holds a sheep, and the little prince is happy, which surprises the pilot. The pilot starts to find out more about the little prince and finds out that he is from an asteroid called B612. Eventually, he starts to find out more about the little prince's world. For example, he finds out that baobab trees are a big problem and that the little prince loves a rose. But this rose is very proud and lies, which makes the little prince sad. He decides that she is no longer someone he can trust, so he leaves his world. The first person the little boy meets is a king who says he rules over everything, even the stars. He has no people to rule on his own world, though, so he gets bored and goes. The second person the little prince meets is a proud man who likes to be admired. The third is a drinker who says he does it to forget that he feels bad about drinking. The fourth adult is a businessman who is trying to buy the stars by counting them. At this point, the little prince thinks that all the adults are very strange, so he goes to the planet of the lamplighter, whose job is to turn on a lamp when it gets dark and turn it off when the sun comes up. The little prince thinks that the lamplighter is the least silly of all the adults because he doesn't just think about himself. The little prince then meets a geographer. The geographer tells the little prince that his rose is ephemeral, or in danger of going away quickly. This worries the little prince and makes him wish he hadn't given up his rose. Still, he keeps going on his way to the planet Earth. The little boy lands in the middle of the Sahara Desert, where he meets a snake. The snake talks in words and hints that he has a strong poison that can send the little prince back to his planet. The little prince keeps traveling on Earth, though, and finally finds a bed of roses that are all the same as his own rose on asteroid B612. This makes him doubt that his own rose is unique. Then, he meets a fox, who shows him what it means to train someone, or to get close to them. The little prince sees that his rose has tamed him, which makes her the only rose in the world, even though she looks the same as every other rose on Earth. The little prince meets a train switchman and a shopkeeper before going back to the Sahara and meeting the pilot there. At the end of his story, both the little prince and the pilot are very thirsty, so they decide to walk to find water. They find a well just before dawn, and they both enjoy the water and their time together. The next day is the date of when the little prince fell to earth. He tells the pilot to fix the plane and meet him at the same place the next night. When the pilot fixes his plane's engine and comes back the next night, he finds the little prince talking to the deadly snake. The little prince tells the pilot that he must go back to his world and that it will look a little bit as if I were dying. The little prince lets the snake kill him, and when he falls to the ground, he does so gently. The fact that the little prince's body is gone the next day gives the storyteller comfort. He thinks that means he made it back to asteroid B612. However, he worried that the sheep that he sketched may end up eating the prince's flowers. About the author. Antoine de Saint-Exupéry was born into a wealthy family. He was the third of five children. After failing his final tests at the Preparatory Naval Academy, Saint-Exupéry went to the École de Beaux-Arts as an auditor to study architecture for 15 months. He then dropped out to do odd jobs and finally became a pilot. Saint Exupéry started writing when he was a pilot, and when his book Night Flight came out a few years later, it made him a rising star in the world of literature. Saint Exupéry kept flying. When World War II broke out, he joined the French Air Force. But when France fell, Saint Exupéry and his wife Consuelo Sunson had to leave. They went to New York, where he wrote and drew The Little Prince. After The Little Prince was published in 1943, Saint Exupéry chose to go back to war and fight for the Allies. In 1944, on his last surveillance flight in the Rhone Valley, however, his plane suddenly vanished without a trace. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. 
please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.